Now, before we all start screaming $100,000 Bitcoin or $10,000 Ethereum, let's just take a step back and analyze the markets with a balanced approach on where things are going to go next. As much as it's been well-deserved and well-needed for this Bitcoin pump, we all seem to see what happens for a potential downside. And just have that balanced approach. That is what I'm bringing across in today's video. I've got a lot of information, a lot of good data to go through with you guys as well. What's caused this pump? Where are we going to go next? How high can we go? Where's the bearish targets? Where are the bullish targets as well? And go through everything. So stay tuned and certainly watch the very end. My name is Tom and this is Crypto Busy. Now, if you're new to Crypto Busy and you want to see more videos about the market, about crypto, about altcoins, about Bitcoin, be sure to subscribe to Crypto Busy today and join the Crypto Busy family. And as always, a like is very much appreciated. So let's jump straight into what's happening with the markets. I uh, stayed up until quite late last night just seeing what's happened with uh, Bitcoin's price out of nowhere again like with Bitcoin sometimes it does these things it pumps but there are some reasons to it as well it is also because of the recent jobs report and also with Amazon as well we're going to go through that in much further detail later on let's just you know quickly analyze what's happened with the markets so as you can see, $1.7 trillion in crypto at the moment. And that is really good to see when it comes to the overall and general health of the market. Because we have seen the crypto market cap around sort of $2 trillion before. And when you, you know, again, take a step back and see what's happened with the amount of capital on the market and you compare it to other asset classes like the stock market and also uh, precious metals, we are minute we are nothing compared to what the traditional finance world is when it comes to these things here as well that's super important the next thing to be aware of as well and this is something to be you know, have a close eye on as well when it comes to uh, bitcoin's price and also uh, the price actions for crypto over the next few weeks and also months is the bitcoin dominance as you can see 42 percent for bitcoin and 17 nearly 18 percent for ethereum so this means out of that 1.7 trillion dollars 42 percent of that is in bitcoin and 18 percent of that is in ethereum the more we see that percentage in ethereum and for the altcoins that is the more likely we're going to get an alt season and the lower um yeah the lower with bitcoin's uh, dominance as well that is also a confirmation for alt season but right now i think as bitcoin tries to retain and regain those uh, you know price actions of around sort of 41k to 46 to 50 and higher it, you know, the bitcoin dominance does need to increase because the way that the capital flows into the market is that capital flows into bitcoin initially from fiat whatever you'd like to call it from you know from the dollars from the, uh, from euro flows into bitcoin and then eventually bitcoin's price rises the bitcoin dominance rises and then eventually bitcoin does tend to take a bit of a, a step back and then from there the capital flows into the altcoins and that's where it flows into ethereum and that's where you see the alt season so again bitcoin up around sort of nine percent nearly ten percent on the daily again tightly ten percent on the weekly as well ethereum around six percent 17 nearly 18 percent on the weekly which is absolutely insane for ethereum's price we have been calling these actions and these sort of uh, price targets uh for a few weeks now saying that ethereum can regain that three thousand dollar momentum as long as you know certain criteria are met same thing with uh, Binance Coin as well, doing really well, up 12%, which is really good to see. And then also the one, the only XRP uh, did keep me up last night of like where things are going with this price. Um, so we'll do some other videos about that uh, in much of the detail um, with XRP, with Ethereum, with many other altcoins as well. So stay tuned for that. Stay subscribed for that one there as well. Let's go into the uh, action of what's happened with why we saw that pump, where we're going to go next, and why was it on a Friday? and what's going to happen over the weekend because there's a lot of stuff to unpack here as well so why is bitcoin rallying 10 percent on a friday and um this is the reason why is because there's been a stronger than expected jobs report and then on top of that amazon stock has also soared 15 percent after their earnings report what is interesting to note about the amazon stock is that it was only a very small amount of better quarterly returns and that got a 15 percent you know gain in their stock and so wall street see uh, tech stocks and bitcoin uh, intertwined and so whenever tech stocks do well so does bitcoin and vice versa so amazon they wall street see amazon as a tech stock because they're in, you know they have uh, the amazon alexa and everything that you know the amazon alexa range um you know that that's 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 tech apparently to uh, to wall street and so they also see that with bitcoin um they also see bitcoin as a tech stock so that sword that is also called off some of the people within wall street within the institutions as well to say ah what's going to happen with the you know, federal reserve are they going to raise interest rates it's looking likely that they you know they think now this is all to do with thoughts and opinions really at the end of the day of where wall street think things are going to go next 
So some market participants anticipate may strengthen the Federal Reserve's resolve to tighten its monetary policy aggressively this year. Essentially what that means is they may not raise interest rates as aggressively as once thought. And so that has called off the markets just for the initial part there as well. So that is super important. Let's have a look at the charts here, guys. So 41, 400, 41, 500. This is absolutely insane for Bitcoin's price action. And it has, as you can see with this line drawn here, broken a major major downtrend so this downtrend from sixty nine thousand dollars all the way down to around thirty three thousand dollars was crazy and you know you should have been there to see it it's absolutely insane so right now as you can see it has broken that 80 day 80 odd day trend um or downtrend itself and and broken it so the main thing really is over the weekend personally i do not want to be seeing uh over the weekend pump because it's usually a fake pump. Because what happens is, again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, Wall Street see Bitcoin as a tech stock. And so Wall Street trade from Monday to Friday. Bitcoin, however, is 365. And so it doesn't matter. There is no closing downtime for uh, Bitcoin. It is always trading. So what happens is over the weekend, the institutions, Wall Street, they tend to take their money out of the markets over the weekend and put it back in um, during Monday or just over Sunday nights going into Monday. And so whenever you see a pump over the weekends, I tend to not trust that as much as a pump over the week, because again, the institutions aren't really there. The volume is relatively low. And so that also the liquidity can be fairly low as well. And so when the volume is low, but then there's a pump that can also rebound quite quickly. Either way, if, even if there is a dump over the weekend, that can rebound quite quickly. And there's also some people say, and how people have the theory of the CME gap. If there is a CME gap between, let's say, 41,500 and it pumps over the weekend to $44,000, then over Monday, some people anticipate that it will go down to 41,500 again because of that gap. So, Something to be aware of there as well, guys. Um, but again, I need to see this price action just maintain around this level between 41,000, maybe even 40,000 to 42,000 over the weekend. And that is likely, in my opinion, we could be seeing another pump as well. But next week, I want to be seeing this price action maintained, probably even a retest on the 20 EMA. And then from there, the 20 EMA would be around sort of $39,000 and another retest and a, cl a daily close, in my opinion, a daily close over $40,000. And then from there, it's important to see where things are going to go from there. So as I've identified some key levels, and the key levels really are for me, in my opinion, and do write this down, $40,000, 42, 46, 50 and 51,500. Those are the key levels. If you look at the price action of Bitcoin over the past few years, really, those are the key areas of where there is important supply and then also liquidity for um, institutions to get into the market and get out of the market. So if we see a daily close above, and which we have seen above $40,000, that is good to see. Now we need to see during the weekdays a daily close above $42,000 just before we see the next step upwards. But again, things can go down. So right now, we're still not out of the woods. This is not me calling $100,000 Bitcoin tomorrow. That's not going to be the case. We need to see, you know, again, gradual growth in terms of what's happening with Bitcoin's price. As much as this candle is very good to see, we need to see gradual growth. And that is good for Bitcoin. So that's the first thing. We're not out of the woods just as of yet. We need to see these exponential moving averages um, also change and flip over to see a bullish price action for Bitcoin's price. And that is where things can go next. So from that, again, the bearish target would be anywhere between $39,000 to $38,000. And the bullish target would be anywhere between forty-two dollars to $46,000. Do comment down below whether you agree, whether you disagree with me. We'd be very interested to hear what you guys have to say. Now, if you want to get a much clearer picture of what's happening in the market, also be sure to join our Crypto Busy VIP coin calls. It's all linked down in the description below. It's through Patreon on Discord. So make sure that you have Discord. And um, it's run by two people that go through the market every single day. And they give you the breakdown on technical analysis and also the fundamental analysis. Analysis. So make sure to check it out. All links down in the description below. Now again, got some interesting data to go through with you guys. As you can see, Nadia Wilson has the macro outlook here on Twitter. The two-week RSI, the relative strength index, demonstrates that we must get above 50 and hold it to avoid further downside. So the the relative strength index in, you know, implies that there's uh, if something's been oversold or overbought. And right now it's around sort of 50, so it's undecided at the moment. If something is below 20, usually in my opinion, then it's oversold. If it's above 80 or above 70, then it's overbought. And so right now we're just smack bang in the middle. And so if we can get above that, then we can be getting to the, the buying range and the buying strength for Bitcoin's price action. So if we do get above that, then that's also good. So again, further stuff to be aware of, of the potential tug and uh, tug of war really of bitcoin's price uh, for the upcoming weeks and also months again we're not out of the woods as of yet but it's still good to see that pump on friday 
the SEC to introduce a Trojan horse crypto regulation as the price of Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Solana, XRP rebounds. And so this is, again, something to be aware of when it comes to uh, everything involved with crypto and Bitcoin for this year. There's going to be two things that's going to be massive for crypto and, and Bitcoin for this year, and that will be Bitcoin and crypto regulation and Bitcoin and crypto uh, adoption. And so those two things happening at the same time will be the tug of war for Bitcoin's price action throughout this year. Now, I am a person that would not want to bet against long term over uh, a technology that was just a line of code 13 years ago and now is legal tender in a few countries across the world. I, I personally wouldn't bet against that. So I, we see some comments saying that, you know, are we are you guys moon boys? You guys are moon boys. We're not. What we're saying is, is that we have to look at the day to day data, which is what we're doing and we're, we're providing you guys in, in these videos. And just as always providing the Bitcoin technical analysis. And I'm giving sort of the side of where things are going fundamentally as well. So providing those sort of areas there. Um, but do we think Bitcoin is going to go to hundred thousand dollars tomorrow? No, it's not going to happen. Or Ethereum going to go to five thousand dollars tomorrow? No, it's not going to happen. We need to see healthy price action. You know where we see you know dips and corrections along the way. We're still in a bull cycle. I, I don't believe anybody who says that we're in a bear cycle at the moment or in a crypto winter. We're in a completely different position as to what we were in twenty eighteen and twenty nineteen. And that is something to be very aware of when it comes to uh, Bitcoin's price and also the crypto market overall for twenty twenty two and beyond. So do comment down below whether you agree, whether you disagree with everything I've said in today's video. We're very interested to hear what you guys have to say and I'll also be responding to some comments down below as well. So that's it for me in today's video, guys. Be sure to leave a like and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to Creative Busy today. My name's been Tom. This is Creative Busy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.